here we are after the first two coats put on the roller and then brushed off feathered off it's not looking bad getting there I've just gone around the perimeter of the roof with some black just to edge it off so I can make it easy with the roller down there that's where I've filled it all but yeah overall it looks pretty good getting there I'd say it's only the second coat of that. Just put on with a roller and then you get a fine brush, four inch, three inch, four inch brush. A tipping brush is the best thing, which I bought, which cost, I think it was six, six pounds, seven pounds. Well worth the money. Very, very thin, it doesn't hold paint. But all it does is spread the paint evenly. So it gets all the air bubbles out. But yeah, I think I'm quite pleased with that. There's a bit of a shine in it already. And this is done in carport outside, as you can see. And uh, I'm going to do the roof next, but I won't be doing that today. I'll be doing that another day, probably tomorrow, when it's dry, the, the cream is dried. Oh, and uh, the second coat, I thinned down slightly with, I think it's called PDA, the supplier, it's Craftmaster. Craftmaster paints I'm using. And they supply something that they, it slows it down from drying because it's, sometimes it dries too fast. This makes it a bit easier to put on and you get a, a easier, an easier, I should say, <laughs> shine. Well, I think that's what it does, but it seems to work better. A lot easier to put on. It's not as thick and gooey. Yeah. So, next time I'll be painting the third coat. Well, not next time, we'll be doing the roof next. And then the third coat of cream. See you in a bit.